All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Cheatham Street Relics. Back at it again with another video. Uh, today we've got some more lard cans. Uh, I told you, I think this is the third video. I told you guys uh, the first video that this is something I've just recently started collecting. I've done gas and oil items for, for quite, a, quite a long time now. Uh, and I still do some oil can signs uh, and things of that sort. But I uh, started doing these lard cans uh, here a couple months ago. And I, I've done pretty well as far as being able to find them and pick, pick up a few. Uh, I'll show you these real quick. These are what, what I picked up this past week. Uh, none of these have been cleaned up. You're seeing them just like I got them. So uh, most of them will clean up nicely. I'll polish them, wax them, and then put them in my display. Uh, but just run through them real quick and show you what I got. Some of them are pretty cool. Some of them are sort of plain, but overall, so we start here with the Oscar Mayer White Clover. That's a Chicago, Illinois can. Got a good lid. The lid's clean on it. I don't know what that is on the front of it. I'm hoping it'll clean up because other than that, it's a solid can and it's uh, other than that, it's a clean can. I don't believe it has any graphics on the back or anything. It's just a plain can. Got the graphics on the front. Again, hopefully that'll clean up. We got the Wrath Blackhawk. That's a Waterloo, Iowa can. I do have the eight pound can that matches that. That's a that's a nice looking can. It's got good red, white, and blue colors and uh, and good graphics. Take a little spin of it. I don't know if it's got, yeah, it does have the graphics on both sides, so another good looking one. The MG, uh, I've got, <clears throat> I've got two eight pound MG cans. I got one that's the same graphics as this, but it doesn't have a lid and then, uh, and it's really nice condition. I think I'll probably sell it, but I have another one and uh, it's an MG and it's got a little bit better graphics on it sort of like a little farmhouse graphics. I showed it in the last video, uh, but this little four pound, I'll keep it uh, overall decent condition can. And that's uh, going back, that's a uh, Fort Branch, Indiana. Then we got the Iowan Decker brand. Pretty clean little can. I think it'll clean up some. I like the bright red and yellow colors on it take a look at that let me make a little can this one here is decent got a little fading i don't know if you can see it on this side of it but i'll spin it around you can see it's got a little fading on it but this side displays well the central brand central packing company that's cape Girardeau, missouri Pretty clean little can. Displays well. You can see that side's got a little bit of fading where it sat somewhere where some sunlight or something got to it. This side here, that's the money shot there. That's the display side. The eight pound Cray, that's the St. Louis, Missouri can. And I do have the four pound that matches that. Lebanon Packing Company. That's a real clean little can there. Lebanon, Missouri. That, like I said, it hadn't been cleaned, but it's uh, overall it's a pretty clean can. I know it'll clean up a little bit better, but uh, good, good bright colors on that. Not a lot of graphics on it, uh, but it is clean. Open kettle rendered. This one's a little different. That's Choice Family Lard, B-M Bits, B-I-T-Z, Monroe, Michigan. It's a gold with black lettering and graphics on it. I'll try to get it so you guys can see this. I don't know. It's like a little hog head graphic on there. Neat little can. Nothing on the back. Just that right there on the front, but... That gold, that black on that gold, just really doesn't show up as well. 
but it's different. It's a cool can, Monroe, Michigan. The Swift's Silver Leaf. That's a Chicago, Illinois can. And overall, it's a pretty clean little can. The good blue and white colors. Looks good. Award winning. Got a little paint loss around that side of that handle, but overall it displays nicely. This is my favorite one out of all of these. And for two reasons, I'll show you. First of all, the color and the graphics. A lot of these cans don't have real good graphics on them. And this one's got really nice graphics on it. I can get in there where you can see those. It's got good color and graphics. And the other reason I like it is it's from my hometown of East St. Louis, Illinois. That's, that was my hometown. So that's... Uh, that's uh, a win-win on that one. This one's really cool. Streck Brothers, Superior Brand. That's a Belleville, Illinois can. Belleville's not too far from East St. Louis. Been there many times growing up. Plain on the back. Pretty cool looking can. And this last one's not a lard can. It's a Shed's peanut butter, but uh, good lid on it. But I had to get this one because of the, the graphics on it. It's a five pound. Check out those graphics on that. It's super cool. It's just super cool graphics on that. So, now the peanut butter can, that's a possibility that, you know, I may sell that one. Look at the top of it here. It's a Detroit, Michigan can. Pretty cool can. If you like graphic cans, that will never probably be for sale. The lard cans, uh, as of right now, none of these will be for sale unless I happen to upgrade. Uh, if I upgrade one of them or something, then I may obviously sell, sell one of them in. But anyway, just want to show you guys the collection is moving along. Run back through them real quick one more time. We got the Iowa Decker brand, the MG, the Raff Blackhawk, Oscar Meyer, Central brand, got the Big Boy Eight Pound Cray, the Lebanon Packing Company. Choice Family Lard, at the Silver Leaf, at the Circle Packing Corporation (CPC), Streck Brothers, and last but not least, the Sheds Peanut Butter Can. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Just wanted to show share that with you. Again, the lard cans not for sale. At this time, the peanut butter can, we'll talk about that. If anybody's interested in it, go to Cheatham Street Relics on Facebook, message us there. A lot of stuff that I've already done videos on. Uh, some of it's already been posted on there and priced, so you already got a price on there. You can go in there and take a look at it. If you don't like the price, if you want to make a, make a reasonable offer, we'll entertain uh, reasonable offers on stuff too, okay? All right, guys, have a good one, and uh, we appreciate you watching. We will catch you on the next video.